welcome to online classes organized by district institute of education and trainings diet kulgam my dear students hello how are you and how are your studies going on this is once again your teacher shaukat loan for one more class with regard to evs dear students as we have already learned about the living and non living things in our previous topic and i know you are fully aware that in our environment there are plants animals birds and human beings which are some of the examples of what we call the living things dear students when you are on way to your school when you look in your environment you must come across with many small and large plants you must have also seen the herbs shrubs the small plants the big plants different types of grasses in your kitchen garden my dear students have you ever thought about the different parts of a plant what's their function what the different parts of a plant are doing and how it makes a plant a living thing today we will be discussing in our this topic the different parts of a plant as in your previous class you have the knowledge that plants almost grow everywhere in the world some of them are just big while some are small dear students some plants have many branches some do not have branches at all their flowers and fruits are different there are many differences in their appearance as per their features but there are similarities too my dear students the part of a plant above the soil or you can say above the ground is called shoot and the part below the soil or under the soil is known as its root the shoot has stem branches leaves buds flowers and the fruits all these parts work together and help the plant to live and grow as in our previous chapter in living and non living we have just discussed that plants are growing my dear students let's have a look on the different parts of a plant here's a plant before you there are different parts you see the underground part the root is there the above ground part which in the diagram you will show in the picture you will see that's known as the stem just above the ground you see the green you can see the leaves you see the different branches the flowers are there and ultimately in this very plant you just see the red tomatoes are there the fruits are there dear students now the different parts of a plant with their functions you have just seen in the picture that what are the different parts of a plant which are evident which we can see with our eyes now what are the functions of these different parts so all of first we will start from the underground part that's the root my dear students the root as i discussed it the root is underground part of the plant 
You know, big plants have big roots. And small plants, like rose plant you must have seen in your park, in your garden, have small roots. A root could be a tap root or a fibrous root. As in the picture below, you can see what's tap root and what's fibrous root. The tap root has a main root and many small roots growing from it, while as the fibrous root are a bunch of small, thread like roots which grow into the soil. Just go through the pictures. Dear students, now we are well aware that root is the underground part of the plant, and there are two types of roots what we call the tap root and the fibrous root. Now, what are the functions of these roots? Dear students, roots separate out to support the plant and bind it firmly to the ground. It gives the binding position. They help the plants to absorb minerals and water from the soil, which is then pushed up into the stem. Many roots also store food. They help the plant to survive. We also eat some of these roots. For example, carrot and turnip. You must be relishing as a vegetable in your house, in your home. Dear students, this was about the functions of root. Now let's come to one more, the upper ground part, that is just above the soil, that is stem. The stem grows above the ground. Branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits grow from the stem. Most plants have strong, hard and woody stems. However, some plants have soft and green stems. My dear students, now what are the functions of stems what the stem is doing for a plant the stem gives support to the plant it keeps the plant upright it bears branches leaves flowers and fruits dear students it separates the leaves so that they may get sunlight and help in the photosynthesis most plants have tiny tubes inside their stem, so they carry minerals and water from the soil to the leaves. Again for the four senses. They also carry food from the leaves, as leaves are the storehouses of food, to the different parts of plant. My dear students, now let's come on the one more important the factory of a plant that's the leaf the leaf is called as food factory of the plant you know why you will see a network of thin lines in the leaf which are called as veins these veins are small tubes which carry food to the stem my dear students, in leaf there occurs a process known as photosynthesis. What is this photosynthesis? In the leaf, carbon dioxide from air and water from the soil combine in the presence of sunlight to make plant food, which is called starch. And the process is known as what we call photosynthesis, manufacturing of food. For the plants. Dear students, after leaf, we will move ahead. There's one more essential part, what we call the flowers or a flower. Flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of a plant, as you must have seen in your parks, in different gardens in your apple orchards, in the fields of, you can say, mustard, 
as presently there is the season flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of plant they grow on plants to attract insects bees butterflies etc they come in different shape and size and colors some have pleasant smell their main function is to make seeds my dear students now you will be happy i know you will be happy to see these pictures because the fruits are there now the ultimate part we are having there in the plant that's in the form of a fruit fruit grew from flowers you know fruits have seeds inside the fruits protect the seeds some fruits have one seed some have many seeds we eat fruits like mango that comes from outside papaya again comes from outside banana orange and we have here in kashmir we have the apple we have the apricots we have the cherry we have prunes these are our fruits and grapes also we have here and we get them from outside also some fruits are sour and some are sweet my dear students after these fruits as i told you that they the fruits cover the seeds now going inside the fruit there is one more part which is there in the plant that are seeds a seed grows into a plant you know and we just put a seed into a, into soil it just comes out in the form of a plant again there is there are two you can say two parts one is the underground one that's in the form of root and the upper one that comes in the form of the shoot apex most plants grow from seeds a seed has a baby plant inside maybe in near future we will be doing some experiments and we will show in those experiments it also has food stored inside it for the baby plant when the seed gets air water warmth the baby plant begins to grow and the, we see outside uh, a, a small plant now to conclude my lesson to conclude my chapter today's chapter i am sure that you must have gone through the pics you must have understood the different parts of the plant i will just recapture it i will just tell you that in a plant we have seen the underground part that's root the above ground that stem then there are leaves then there are flowers then there are fruits and ultimately there are the seeds now my dear students just have a pencil and a copy in your hand and just go for a few questions i'm just going to ask you two of the questions to evaluate you uh, really whether really you have uh, understood something from this very topic from this very lesson can you answer the following questions my dear students now my first question to you what are the two types of fruits yes i know you have the answer and you have jotted down you have it in your notebook that's tap root and fiber root now my question second for you my dear students which part of the plant is known as the food factory of the plant yeah is leaf exactly thank you thanks a lot we'll just see you again with my new topic on evs goodbye and stay blessed